Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back. So today we're gonna go over another hill country blues, also known as hypnotic boogie style. Let's check this video out, and I'll show you how to play some of it and uh, teach you a little bit about the style. All right, here we go. It's Robert Belfour, uh, Hill Stomp. Let me go ahead and stop it real quick. Uh, one thing that's interesting about this is that he's playing in an open tuning, right? But he's in kind of like a G open tuning, but it's pushed down five half steps. So like his where his A string normally would be tuned down to G, he's literally tuned that all the way down to E. So actually, I think this is gonna be a good one for us to figure out in standard tuning. Cause I know a lot of you guys are sitting there with your guitars in standard tuning. Maybe you got it in open G, but certainly you don't have it in open G down five steps, right? We'll approach it like that in the standard tuning. Let's watch him play this first part and then I'll stop it. And then he repeats a lot of these riffs and then we'll, I'll teach you on the second round through. So let's watch that first part again. It's another riff, another riff. So see, hopefully you can see that he's repeating riffs over and over again. And he's kind of like doing a riff and then he goes to a variation of the riff, then back to the first riff, then another variation. And that's just kind of how he keeps going. So let's keep going with this until he gets back to the... This is the main phrase, I think. So let me show you some of that. So if you just have this click in, he's almost an E, right? Now I'm gonna check my tuning real quick. All right, so a lot of these riffs that he's playing are basically just minor pentatonic riffs. So you're looking at this scale. Right, the one we know really, really well, uh, but also kind of like some blues notes too. So those kind of notes as well. So he's got, so he's doing this monotonic thumb and then he's playing minor pentatonic riffs. I think that first one, let's listen to it again. Uh, back it up just a little bit. So it's, um, uh, that's that first kind of, that's that kind of main riff, right? So we're going like this. Okay. Basically, you know, it's just kind of, the, he plays like a riff. Later he'll do some variations. But he always ends the phrase with three, four, one. So this might be a good way to start. Five beats and then ba -dum -bum. So one, two, three, four, five. That's it. Two, three, four, five. Slow it down. Riff. That's what we'll place the riff right here. And then the kind of, it's almost like a call and response, right? He does a riff, then ba -dum boom that little phrase. The fullness of the sound that he gets, you know, a lot of it does come from this open tuning, right? Because when you're playing this in open, uh, like I have now in, in the same tuning as he had, as you do the monotonic bass, like the other strings kind of ring out. That being said though, there's a lot of really valuable riffs that you can learn in this song, in the standard tuning lesson. So we're gonna continue the lesson that way. I just wanted to kind of add that on there so you guys can know and hear that there is a little bit of a difference when you have it in an open tuning, um, mainly just because the strings can ring out a little bit more. But let's get back into it. So let's kind of pay attention to his riffs there and then we'll 
piece those together. This is a cool riff too. Kind of like an energy builder here. So you want to do like this. Um. Okay, and there he's not doing the answer part where he's going. He's just kind of building some energy. It's a new section. Kind of back and forth like that. Let's check out more of it. Explain. There's one other phrase in there. Let's check that one out too. Right after that kind of building phrase. It's, um, it's, that phrase is a little slower. So this one actually works pretty well in this open tuning and you know, it's fun to play like this. Let's keep going. Check that riff out. Right, slow it down. Let's keep going. Cool variation. That one's kind of tricky, but we, so we're gonna start here at this kind of, remember we did that phrase from before? <laughs> That's a really fun one to play. That's tricky though, one more time. That's, pretty, that's kind of hard to do, so we want to do kind of like a... Uh, doing pull-offs. Right? And then when you get to a tricky phrase like that, try to just repeat it over and over again like I'm doing. Um, right? And we want to try to get that you know, get that kind of groove feeling. Um, and so we don't have to think about it so much with our hands, right? So that monotonic thumb, you gotta really work on that a lot to get it feeling comfortable where you don't have to think about that going. Cause really what you wanna think about is just the riffs. Like those types of ideas and then adding, right? Those type of ideas with the thumb. Let's keep going. Back to that. Back to that kind of buildy phrase.
me show you that one real quick. So it's sliding up. So it slides up like this. Okay, kind of like um, like we've seen before. It just he does these riffs with variations. All right, let's keep going. Kind of the same variations over again. Let's get, let's try to get that riff real quick because he plays it a bunch of times in a row. So that one's a kind of a different variation. We're going um. Kind of a little bit of different variation, but still it's all the same notes. Let's keep going. Dynamics, bring it down soft. I love that. Cool. Very cool. I love that one. That was so cool. All right. So kind of let's go over some of the main ideas and just kind of review some of the stuff we talked about. So main ideas here, it's, you know, he's thumping along on that low E string. In his case, he's playing in kind of an open G different, you know, he's playing an open G variation where he's uh, actually tuned way down five half steps to where his A string is actually playing the note E. So that's why we're doing it in standard tuning, so it's easier for you guys to follow along. The main riffs he's doing here, he's sticking on the riffs. This kind of position of the pentatonic scale, a lot of notes on this G string. Okay, and he's always ending almost every phrase with um, two, three, four. So this is a good thing to practice at first, just this little bit. try to start to add like little phrases from the pentatonic mostly that's kind of the spot the sweet spot you can slide into those notes kind of like that you can slide into them you can hammer on Like little riffs like that, okay? Just focus on this kind of... Just focus on that little sweet spot right there that's in that blues scale. And it's so easy to play. You've heard these riffs in other countless songs. I know it. Like they're, they've come up over and over again on this channel and on tons of blues stuff. So these are so fun to play. So hopefully you got a lot out of this. Like this is a really fun one to play, especially to practice your monotonic bass stuff. So have fun on this one, guys. I had a lot of fun watching this with you and uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.